Hi and welcome to another sparring drills video. Today I'm going to show you how to do a particular dodge which I call an L-shaped dodge which involves retreating when the opponent attacks and then suddenly sidestepping as they follow through with another attack. To do the L-shaped dodge properly, you first need to know how to do a sidestep dodge, which I've shown you in sparring drills number 18. And it's the second method that I want you to use where you go either left right or right left. Okay? But remember, this only works when the opponent is not too close, so you can see them coming in on two, like that. Okay, so practice that as a drill and do it against kicks that go straight, for example, front kick, side kick and back kick. When the opponent's very close, it's very difficult to move to the side in time. So by the time you try to make the move, they've caught you out. So in most cases, the defender will end up retreating. But the problem is the opponent will carry on attacking and you just continue retreating. So it's worth learning how to sidestep at some point so you can get out of the line. And that's why we call it an L-shaped dodge because you go back and then across either way. But it's quite difficult to do. So I'm gonna show you in two stages. The first stage is more basic, where you back off, pause, and then do the side step like you learned earlier. Uh, so when you back off, you could either double step, you could be just running backwards, or you could be just shifting backwards. But then you pause, and when the follow through comes, you side step. So you go back and then across. Okay? Now in a real bout, maybe that pause will end up meaning that you get caught out, but unless you're against a beginner. But it's worth practicing it this way first, and then I'll show you in a more advanced way. So practice that as a drill. If you want to do this without a pause, then you have to do the movement more abruptly. You need to move back quite a lot. Don't take more than one or two steps going backwards and then quickly go to the side. So if you have your right leg in front, you will need to take a big step back. But not only that, when you did the side step, you went out and across. So you've got to do the same here. Not only step back, but bring the leg a little bit out. Okay, so load the weight onto that leg out and then across but you've got backward momentum so if you try to push directly across you'll end up going backwards because that momentum will take you there so you need to counteract that backward momentum by pushing a little bit forward so you go diagonally back and then push diagonally forward like that back forward okay and then you'll end up going directly to the side and the l shape will be a bit more abrupt one two now if i wanted to go the other way left right I would need to take a small step and then go diagonally this way and push that way. So you do step back forward, okay? This time the step doesn't need to be so big because you're initially retreated with that small step. So this one can be a bit smaller and go across like that, okay? So you've got two ways. Front leg, it's a really big step back and move or step and go the other way. And then you can counter attack. So practice that against an opponent doing a kick, like a side kick, front kick, back kick, coming in, following up with punches. By the time they do the punches, you want to be moving across, okay, and then counter attack.
So this technique is quite difficult to execute spontaneously, but if you practice it a lot, it will become second nature and it's more likely that you can use it in sparring. But also it's a very good conditioning exercise because the movement's very plyometric, so it will strengthen your legs so that you can change direction more effectively. So keep practicing and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.